Hello everybody, I'm Henry Lee, BlueHeronArts.com. Today we are going to uh, videotape a uh, seal engraving workshop with uh, Deborah from Long Beach. Uh, she has been in my live workshop before. Uh, you may see his, her picture on my website. Um, Today, uh, she commissioned me to do uh, two name seals for her. Let me start with the translation of her name, how to make a Chinese name from English or Western name. And uh, then we'll do the design, followed by the carving process. So it will be quite long. Hope you have patience to stay <laughs> with us. Uh, it should be very educational. <laughs> Uh, to make the long story short, um, Deborah has uh, some suggestions from uh, her previous teacher uh, and the classmates, uh, Chinese-speaking mm -hmm. uh, friends, uh, to translate her name with uh, both phonetic and uh, meaning. Right? Uh, her name in English is uh, Deborah Asper. Os mm -hmm. Osborne. Um, so in Chinese, the first name, I mean the last name comes first. Uh, for for the last name, we will use this character here. Uh, o. O U spelled in Chinese. Uh, that's the place name or family name. Um, very common to translate uh, uh, Western names, uh, West, uh, Western last names. And uh, the first name, we have uh, uh, this nice character, Dai, or uh, D, let me see, like this one, D, A, I, uh, which is a well known because uh, we translated Dina, die <laughs> as a, in this character uh, also. This is just the color of a, a deep blue or navy blue uh, because uh, she likes the color. <laughs> you can see yeah. she wears it. So we, we, I think it's perfect. And uh, the second character, so that represents this uh, syllable D, D, E. For second set of B O, we use uh, Bo. Uh, actually, that is here. So we we'll just write here D A I and B O. This this character Bo means uh, uh, wave. She lives in Long Beach, so blue, uh, 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 steep blue wave is the meaning uh, of these two characters which represents her, the sound of her name Debo, De, 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 Debbie, you know, Deborah. So we can omit the last syllable uh, uh, Na. Uh, you, can, you, can, you can call Deborah uh, by name but uh, when you write you can just write Debo, Debo, yeah. Uh, so we can shortcut it, you can omit that. That's how we get this name, uh, Dai Bo. So this is the sales script. Um, we'll do that later. But first of all, let me show you how to write the standard script and uh, uh, signature script in, in calligraphy. Okay. I will really tape this so you can practice at home. Uh, if, you, if you do this a hundred times, you will, <laughs> you will become expert. This is your name. Um, so on this page, I collected uh, some uh, characters online uh, with uh, the first name O. Uh, let me just write the standard script. I didn't get that online. This is the traditional, traditional uh, character. It has more strokes. In print style. And simplified character is uh, like this. So this three O's uh, uh, or mouths okay. become a, uh -huh. a like, X. Like yeah. short. Shortcut, yeah, yeah shortcut. Short and you can see where it comes from right here on this page. 
and you can see in the ancient time, I think this could be in Tan Dynasty, I don't know which author didn't uh, pay attention to that, but uh, this certainly is a Tan Dynasty uh, calligrapher with the same family name as yours, mm -hmm. Ouyang Xiu. Mm -hmm. uh, this is another, you know, so these are all ancient scripts. Wow. Uh, you can see they already shortcut it. Some, you know, you can you can make the three mouths uh, little, little squares uh, mm -hmm. in short, and or it just become a, a cross. Uh, I mean, an X. Mm -hmm. uh, this is this is uh, the script. cursive script. Ah. Yeah. So you can see it called the shortcut oh, yeah. edge. Yeah, yeah. and uh, uh, the simplified cursor uh, is standardized based on the shortcut of uh, the. Okay. Cursive style, actually. Uh, let me write this uh, for you. Uh, just over here. Uh, let me see. I'll use a different page so you can, you can see more clearly. So this is uh, O, the last thing. Uh, mm -hmm. Which one you. I, I would suggest you go with the running style. I mean, wor walking style first. Mm -hmm. This walking style, this is running style, one stroke. So let me write both of them. Uh, so this is uh, easy. <laughs> you can okay. That's the the sequence. You can see the the stroke order yes. uh, with this is all connected. Uh, th there's some variation like this. Uh, this could be a little longer mm -hmm. to, uh, to vary. Uh, if you write faster, it will be because it's like this too. Uh, I'll write my own mm -hmm. way. Maybe. I better follow the the original, I think, uh, because if you write uh, too grassy, you know, too uh -huh. drafty, uh -huh. people cannot read it. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can. No, I forgot about forget about that. So I have to follow the ancient uh, style uh, because the so these two are the yeah, same. Yeah, these are two the same okay. script, but a different variation. Okay. This is a more stroked. Here is more right, shortcut right. it. So I. Uh, don't try to create your own. So, <laughs> I, oh yeah. So this is the order you have to to follow. That and you can vary this size oh, okay. more free. Okay. That's why I try to do it freely. Uh, this is the yeah. So mm -hmm. uh, you go like uh, if you if you can you can simplify it into three dots. You know, like uh, three three squares into three dots basically, okay. and then continue. Like oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So this is the uh -huh. shortcut. Uh -huh. The second character or first character you give a name is Dai. Uh, right. I I think this two the same. Yeah. Um, yeah. Basically, it's a it's an up and down uh, composition. To to if you if we write the standard script, it would be like that. The top is the sound, that the bottom is the color, okay. uh, uh, black, uh -huh. specific black, bluish black, uh -huh. bluish black is. Okay. Uh, it, it's a kind of color that the ancient women used to color their bra eyebrows. I like that. Yeah, <laughs> it's a kind of ink also grind on a small uh, ink uh, stone called the dai, or uh, blue ink stone. It's, we have a small one actually. Victoria has one in her collection, very tiny, <laughs> for eyebrows uh, mm -hmm. ink. Um, let me write uh, the second walking style, this is a walking style. Mm -hmm. I don't think I have the grass style, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, so just write quickly. Um, so it goes uh, from top down. Three dots is enough instead of four. And this one, this one I we like because the uh, the composition is uh, it's pretty. It's pretty because you yeah. you kind of uh, squeeze this uh, lower part in, into the top part. That's uh, make room for the for the two parts more in, become integral.
This is a cursive uh, part. So, uh, yeah, let me do a few that one more time because it's not cursive. If you practice, yeah. Uh, yeah. More, you can put a, a transparent sheet on, onto it, so you can copy it. Like a, if you use a Japanese rice paper, mm -hmm. uh, you can you can you oh, can perfect, copy perfect. to begin. Uh, you can copy first yeah. uh, before you trace it. Trace yeah, you it. it. So you can you can. Oh, yeah. You you can be more exact. That's, uh, oh, that's, that's good. Yeah, when, you, when you start to begin, <laughs> uh, begin. I will write uh, for all three characters in one line, so you can put underneath the painting to sign. Good. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> perfect. Uh, later, let's do that later. Uh, you can do it right now. So you do it if you like this, this uh, old, so just copy it like that. And always O first. Yeah. You, you can do just two uh, in uh -huh. signature. You you can only to. Uh, we don't usually do the family name. We do the first name uh, as a signature. You can put your name seal uh, with O mm -hmm. to to complete that. Oh, okay. yeah. So that's the first character of the given name. The second one is this this uh, ball um, or wave. Uh, this is in the context of uh, writing that it's kind of off balance. But you can see the strokes. Uh, this is this is the standard script, the walking stick script, and raining raining okay. script. Uh, let me just okay. make this a little mm, leveled. Uh -huh. <laughs> you can yeah twist it a little bit. So let's see if we can do this. Show you. So three uh, in standard script, you can see three dots represent the water. Okay. Uh, the, but in Writing has become one long dot oh, for the two, and here is a one stroke combined, and uh, so it's like a, the one oh, the one stroke. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh, uh -huh. The loop. So yeah. this connects. Yeah, you can that make that can a, connect. Yeah. You can you mm -hmm. can make the loop mm -hmm. bigger. Sometimes it depends on the style. Um, let's see if I can do that. One drop of water, and then the wave. Big. Oh, okay. Oh, so variation. <laughs> yeah, oh, some okay. variation. Oh, okay. Different moods. Different moods, uh -huh. yeah. Uh, okay. Do you like any particular This one? one's nice. This, uh, yeah, I that's like the, the three dots. Three also. dots, yeah. Three dots is it's the. Kind of it's kind of. So a little more powerful uh -huh. than the other one. This is a standard script, so oh, okay. you, yeah, you have to keep the uh, script consistent if you oh, do this. Oh, okay. It's more exact. Yeah. It's a sprint script. This actually could be separate. And this two strokes is the most difficult. Jeez. We have a stroke guide yeah, with all these strokes. Uh -huh. um, so this is the... The board, I mean, put it on this one. If I can make it uh, into a line. I also have that um, paper where, yeah. you, where it disappears. Oh, yeah, you can use the parking paper. Yeah, yeah, we call it the magic cloth. Yeah, the magic cloth. Yeah, I have to use it back. Anyway, uh, let me write this. Yeah, you can use that to practice. So let me do the yeah. switch off one. I try to make it uh, look more. A little running, so it, oh, yeah. it matches. Oh, <laughs> Try to match that, okay. but not. To, you can, yeah. This is. Uh, mm -hmm. This is my design. And you can write uh, art characters in standard script, and then do that. So it would be. So I I would write the. The X is easy, much easier to write okay. than the three uh, uh -huh. miles. You know. And you like, I think you like this kind of stroke, so yes. you can do this. Yes. And uh, this one, you have a lot of <laughs> uh, difficult strokes in, in this okay. one. 
This one is difficult to, to, fit, yeah, to fit in. So even in standard script, you can try to squeeze in this part on top. Okay. Otherwise, it, it would be too long. Yeah. You make it thinner too. And then the three dots. It represents fire. Okay. When they make the black suit. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. The, mm -hmm. the black, the, this face actually is the window or the chimney, <laughs> uh, whatever, uh, the, the room uh, or the, co the collection mm -hmm. panel with the dots uh, stands for the particle of the, the carbon mm -hmm. for the black. Right. That's a standard script. Um, if you write R in cross style, let me try. My favorite style is this. Um, I forgot. Oh, yeah. So you can write like a three dots and then just. Mm -hmm. This should connect it. Let me write it again. Now we can write just as two dots. Boom. Mm -hmm. There. This or short cut it. Three dots. Mm -hmm. And you can do the, the last the last the because last yeah, the this dots can be the last mm -hmm. in brass style. Okay. And four it become two dots. And this could be connected. And a oh, long wow. dot instead of the mm -hmm. wave. Okay, that's for the reference. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, you can keep all out. this. <laughs> oh, and finish this too for you. The, the uh, ancient script called the seal script uh, we found in uh, Chinese ethnology website. Um, you, we also did some research on Google, so the similar result. Uh, that's the, uh, the material we use for the seal design. So this is the first character, O, and Dai, and Bo, right? Uh, 